Hello everybody and welcome to online study for you. This is a video on the interview questions video series. So in this video series, we are discussing some questions that will be asked in your interviews and examinations, mostly interviews. So if you're attending your interviews after shortlisting from the examination, then you are going to be asked some technical questions from C, C++, Java, database, networking, operating systems. So this is the most favorite topics for interviewers. And we are covering all these areas with some basic to intermediate questions so that you can clearly answer them whenever they're asked in your interviews. So we had stopped until encapsulation in the previous video. So you will continue further understanding the object oriented programming model. So this question is, explain the abstraction in OOP, that is object oriented programming. So abstraction is also one of the concept. Now, what is abstraction? So abstraction or it is also called as data abstraction. In previous video, we have seen encapsulation. Encapsulation are also known as data encapsulation. Okay. So data abstraction is the property by the virtue of which only essential details are displayed to the user. Okay, so users are displayed only essential details, that is only things that they want to know, not anything else. So the trivial or the non-essential units are not displayed to the user. For example, a car is viewed as a car rather than its individual components. A car will have a lot of components, right? A car will have different seats, a car will have engines, a car will have different ECUs, a car will have petrol tanks. All these are different, different components and all these components are built together. Okay? To make a car, this is not the best of the car, but this is a drawing. Okay? There are different components, but whenever you are seeing the car, you see this, okay, this is one single car. You see it as a car, but there are different units that are functioning inside. Okay, let us suppose there is an airbag in car. How does that airbag work? Whenever this accident happens, the airbag should open and it should protect you. How does it work? You don't need to understand it. You know that there is an airbag which will protect you whenever an accident happens. That's it. Only the essential details that airbag is there is shown. How does your car communicate is not at all shown. Okay, that is what is data abstraction. If you are using your mobile phone, let us suppose, okay, you are using camera. Let us say you open camera and you click photos. You can see the photos, but you don't know how the exactly the camera app is working behind. The camera app has some code. Let us suppose you are playing a game. Let us say you are playing PUBG. You don't know behind how the PUBG app works. It is, it is in the size of gigabytes, right, the game. But in background, it has some code, it does some functionality. You don't know how, what that is, but you just play it. That is no witness abstraction. You don't need to know what is happening behind. You need to only know what is required. That is the essential details are only shown. Okay. Uh, I'll give you another example. Let us suppose you're not well. Okay. You have a, let us suppose you have an injury on your leg or injury on your shoulder. Someone comes and asks you, maybe it's your neighbor, they come and ask you, hey, what happened? You just say, you just tell them that you have an injury, that's it. Only essential details, that is, they must know that you had an injury and you're going to the hospital, that's it. Whenever you go to the hospital, the doctor will happen, uh, come and ask you, hey, what happened? You cannot say them, okay, injury happened, that's it. You have to show them the injury because they have to treat you. That is the essential details for a doctor. So you show that in essential details depending upon who are, is asking the question. So for doctor, you show the full details. You show what has happened. You tell them how this happened. So they give you the treatment for it. That is how data abstraction works in programming as well. Consider a real life example of a man driving a car. The man only knows that pressing the accelerator will increase the speed of the car, right? You only know that or applying the brakes will stop the car. But he does not know how about how on pressing the accelerator the speed is actually increasing. Okay, you don't know you when you press the accelerator, how is the speed increasing? What is the engine doing? You don't know. You study that in your if you do mechanical engineering, you study that. He does not know about the inner mechanism of the car or the implementation of the accelerator, brakes, etc. in the car. 
this is what abstraction is i hope by now you have understood what abstraction is okay so in java abstraction is achieved by interfaces and abstract classes you can achieve 100% abstraction using interfaces interfaces is one of the concept which we may study in the later part of the video series and abstract classes are also one of the concepts using which you can achieve abstraction okay so this is a image that can explain you what abstraction is so this is the interface this is this is something that happens in behind this is the interface this is this is also the java interface in java also you will have an interface through which you access and this interface will actually talk behind to the object it will talk with all the data members it will talk with all the functions and give you what is needed okay let us suppose you are using youtube let us suppose this is a youtube app youtube has an interface right it is, has a well defined very neat app using which you can browse the apps interface and you can click on a video when you click on a video what happens the youtube app goes to the back end it talks with the servers it brings that video and it displays it to you what you are seeing is only the essential details that is what is abstraction that is what is deadlock explain so what do you mean by deadlock it is an operating system question deadlock is a specific situation or condition where two processes are waiting for each other to compete so that they can start but this situation causes a hang for both of them very good example uh, for this if we may give for suppose you want a uh, aadhar card done for you if you go to aadhar card center they say bring ration card otherwise you can't give we can't give you aadhar card now you go to the ration card center they'll say bring your aadhar card you will make a ration card for you now this is a deadlock situation you cannot do anything you cannot do ration card you cannot do aadhar card as well this is a very lame example that i'm giving so that you can understand okay so uh, if i have to explain it in a meme uh, or a joke that was circulated on internet so this was the joke from a three gets movie that was uh, circulated if you see here the interviewers are asking the candidate explain deadlock and we'll hire you so this guy says hire me and I explain it to you you understand right this is what is deadlock these people won't hire him unless he explains deadlock this person will not explain until he is hired this is nothing but deadlock so these guys understood that and they let's discuss salary he is hired okay please don't do that in your interview and ask he will be kicked out of the room this is just a joke that is there okay the real diagram that we can use here is this let us suppose there is a resource x and resource y let us suppose this resource x is also a hard drive a hard drive and this resource y is uh, let us suppose a camera one process a is currently using hard drive and it wants to use camera that is unlocked so this is locked and this is unlocked now there is a process b which uses camera that is locked and it wants to use hard drive unless the hard drive is freed hard drive is already locked so it cannot access hard drive until the hardware is free hard drive is free it will not release camera so this will also not release hard drive until camera is released so this is the condition of a deadlock that is x happened okay so deadlock is very bad for the computer system there are different algorithms that are there where you can use to solve the deadlocks so we have come to the end of this video uh, thank you for watching online study for you keep watching our video so that you can clearly understand the concepts for different examinations and interviews uh, and stay tuned for our other videos and i'll see you in the next one